All right, I'm back today to talk about another one of those uh, little hidden gem films that I like to review. Um, be, being completely honest and upfront with you, um, I'm maybe considered a little biased because a friend of mine had something to do with the making of this film. Um, but uh, trust me, I was pleasantly surprised. I wouldn't even be making the video if I thought it was trash. Um, I just wouldn't do it at all. So, uh, you, you know how, like, if you have a friend that, like, maybe did something, like, worked on something, and they're like, hey, man, check out my new film, or check out check out this book I wrote, or whatever, and you're like, okay, like, you, you know, you're, you're kind of, like, skeptical, you're like, eh, this might not be great, and then, like, sometimes you gotta, gotta be like, yeah, man, yeah, it was... It was, I mean, there were some cool parts to it, you know? <laughs> but um, this one actually pleasantly surprised, like I said. Uh, I went into it, like, kind of, like I said, expecting it not to be that impressive. It's um, a low-budget film. Um, I had never heard of the production company, um, nor almost anyone starring in it or anyone who worked on it. So I was skeptical going in. Uh, 100%. But I go in to this film, uh, The Return, and, you know, the fact that it's a horror film also kind of made me like, this might be really cheesy, this might be terrible, um, but I was, uh, I tried to keep an open mind. I went in, and the first thing that struck me was the dialogue. I was really impressed by the dialogue. It felt super realistic, like, this is how people actually communicate, and these are like real personalities, I could picture people I've met in my life, you know, being these characters, I could picture them in that role, so it, that was the first thing, I really liked the dialogue, it felt like real conversations people have, um, and it, and it felt, there was some dark humor in it, and, and I really enjoyed that, uh, next was the twist of the film, and I'll be honest, up front, like I said, it's low budget, so, like, the effects aren't the most amazing, um, you know, the budget's not huge on this thing, but it's adequate, it's adequate, and the story more than makes up for the fact that, the, 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 you know, the CGI is not top-notch, still pretty good, though, um, but the story is what got me, the story was unique as hell, I was not expecting what happened, this movie starts out as a horror film, and, and about halfway through, converts to a horror slash sci-fi film. Uh, and I don't want to ruin it for anyone who hasn't seen it. And I'm guessing since this is kind of a hidden gem, there wasn't a lot of publicity behind it. There wasn't a lot of advertisement or anything like that, um, that a lot of you have not seen it. But I, I definitely recommend it. Uh, because once the twist hits in this movie, you know, it, it makes the film. It makes the entire film. It's like, oh, oh, this isn't a horror film. This is a science fiction film. Um, but, but in all honesty, it's actually a little bit of both, which makes it, you know, something that's right up my alley. Because not only do I love sci-fi, but you know, horror is pretty good. Okay, I, I like horror. All right, I'm not like a crazy diehard, you know, uh, creeper who loves horror films. But I enjoy um, the occasional horror film for sure especially if it's actually scary, which is hard to come by nowadays. Um, but the science fiction angle of this film is what made the film for me. I thought it was really cool, a really unique take. I had never seen it done before. I've never seen a horror film have this type of twist in it before. So go check it out. I want to hear what you guys think. If you've already seen it, please let me know in the comments below. But for me, this is one of those hidden gems. I'm really glad I watched it because... When it first came out, like I said, I was skeptical. A friend of mine had something to do with it. I didn't want to hurt his feelings if it sucked. Um, but once I got around to watching it, I was happy that I did. And I, you know, happily reached out to him like, dude, you know, you, you did that? That's, I, I really liked, you know, the main aspect of this film. So it, it, the, the story made the film. Also, like I said, the acting was superb. It, it wasn't what you expect from lower budget films. You expect you know, um, lower paid actors, you know, um, to not be top notch, but the, 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 the lead in this film is actually 
he was in that show, The 100. If you've ever watched that, which I thought was an awesome series. I love that series. So if you like that series, you'll recognize the actor. If you've ever watched that, you'll recognize the actor. Um, but yeah, I, bravo to these folks who put this together because I, I thought it was really good. I, like I said, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, unfortunately, it, it does. It didn't have a big budget. It didn't get picked up and like bought by a, a, a big company that's putting it out for free on, on their streaming service. You do have to rent it um, or buy it. Uh, but it's not that expensive. It's like $3 or something to rent. And you get it for 48 hours. But go check it out. Let me know what you think. And if you've already seen it, please let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss this twist. And if you haven't seen it yet, don't look in the comments because I don't want you to see this twist before you see the film. I want you to be surprised. I want it to hit you the way it hit me. And I want to see if it impressed you in the same way. So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to continue talking about this thing with someone because like I said, I don't know a lot of people who have seen it except for the people who made the film. So, you know, that's a different type of discussion. I'd like to talk to it with other fans from a fan perspective or, or just not even a fan. Maybe you didn't like it. I want to hear that too. So let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you like videos like this, uh, this is not all I do here, but what I do is I, I try to put out something daily. Um, it's everything from, you know, entertainment and pop culture to stories from my questionable youth. Um, I, I've been throwing in a fitness series where I'm, I'm training to run the Boston Marathon. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to put out some content every single day that has something to do with the things that I love. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested to get something new and interesting in your feed every day, then please subscribe for more. If you like this video, like the video. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications because if you don't, you will not be, you will not know when I upload. That's just how YouTube works. It won't tell you, you know, sometimes it won't even show up in your subscription feed. So um, make sure you hit the notifications bell. All right, that's it. Uh, if you decide to stick around and subscribe for more, then I will talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.